Coming at you full fledged, it's your boy Rage Man Rich with another video for y'all, man. Welcome, YouTube. We all know that the LA Lakers were able to avoid the sweep this past weekend. However, last night, they weren't able to run away from that gentleman sweep. It happened. Five games, and now the Denver Nuggets advance to the second round after a 108-106 to 106 home win. And the fact that one of their star players was overcoming an injury and did way more than anybody expected him to in that position. Now, the game was close. The game was close. I will, I will admit the game was close to the very end. But just like everything that's been happening in the previous, well, the first three games, that's what happened in this last game. And something else happened in this, in, in this game that happened in the previous uh, game in the series as well. But before we get into that, let's talk about how the Nuggets won this game. Rebounding, of course. They got the big guys. They 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 have a pretty big, like height wise roster. So rebounding was gonna be an advantage this whole series. Uh, their reliance of their their starters this game. Michael Porter Jr. I think he had uh twenty five points, seven rebounds, or three assists, or the other way around, something like that. Hella efficient from the floor. Uh, and again. This is going to go back into the series, but in this game, again, just their ability to stay in it. And when it comes to their ability to stay in games, I want, I'm going to go on a tangent real quick. But first, let me preface that no, the Lakers are not in the same position that this other team was. Because I know when I say this, people are going to take it super literal. How I saw the Nuggets and their ability to turn it, turn the switch on and off in the playoffs, is it reminded me of the Golden State Warriors in 2018 when they faced the Portland Trailblazers. You know, of course, KD, nah, not 2018, 2019. When KD was out, they end up sweeping them. Uh, Portland Trailblazers had several double-digit leads in the in the in in the midst of getting swept. And relating that back to this series, the Nuggets just had the Nuggets just had the ability to stay in it. It didn't matter. We saw we saw the stats. We saw how long the Lakers had the lead throughout this series. How long the Nuggets. Uh, were trailing and how long they had to leave. They were certain about everything they did. And they were certain about that 12 points they could get from Jamal Murray in the fourth quarter, despite his calf injury or, uh, yeah, his calf injury, I believe. Now, the player of the game, player of the, the players of the game, because I got to give him credit on this as well. Reigning finals MVP, Nikola Jokic almost had a 2020 uh, triple-double. He had 25 points, 25 rebounds, and 9 assists. That is nothing to uh, sleep on at all. But, like I said, clutch performance from Jamal Murray, man. 12 points in the fourth quarter. Overcoming an injury that that could have been serious. Uh, thirty-seven points. No, nah, he didn't have thirty-seven points. He had thirty, thirty-two uh, points. Thirty-two points. Thirteen of twenty-eight. Uh, fifty percent from the three-point line. Super efficient. Those two player of the game. The best duo in the league. I know we've been talking about Kyrie and Luca as of late, but remember these are the reigning champions. These are the reigning champions. So, we know, I'm going to speak about this later. We know about the accolades that Murray hasn't been able to get, but these are still the reigning champions. So, 
these are this is the best duo in the league now when it comes to the series the lakers i just said it before the lakers were unable to maintain double digits leads why mainly because the nuggets simply have la's number They've had it in the regular season. They've had it in the playoffs last year. 11 straight victories. 12 straight probably now. They just have their number, and that's okay, bro. We, the Lakers, we already know the Lakers wasn't good enough. But, you know, with that constant uh, inundation from the media, you know, people really going to think the Lakers got a shot. And I'm surprised they won one game, to be honest. Now, another reason... The Lakers, well, well, one of the reasons uh, the Lakers lost, well, I'm going to speak on both things. One of the reasons the Lakers won that one game was due to, of course, the, uh, he had like a 20-20 double-double in game four. That's why they won 1-1 from Anthony Davis. Well, why they lost the other four games was due to Davis not being used to his fullest extent and uh, him being shut down. Now, early in the series, Bron didn't share with AD at the right time. We could go back to uh, game one or game two. Then uh, we can go back to game three. I believe was that was that game three what uh A D scored like thirty some points in three quarters and scored zero in the fourth. That's that's one where he didn't show up. That the first the first the first loss was by by schemes. The second loss was with him not showing up. This loss in game five, he had what did what did what did A D have? He had uh seventeen points, fifteen rebounds, eight of eleven. That's cool on a regular season night, on a on a November Tuesday week. You can't do that in the playoffs, 17 and 15, especially off what you just did in game four. That's not enough. So it was a it was a bunch of reasons how why the series turned out why it did. On, on from AD's in, from scheme, him not show, him being neutralized and him just not doing enough. Another reason, Denver was good in the paint, man. Denver was good in the paint. Now, <laughs> I, I'm not going to try to get too conspiracy theory in this video, but I will say uh, these past couple of years, the Lakers have not only had an advantage, a stark advantage in free throw attempts, but they also get the benefit of making a lot of three-point shots. Do with that what you will. Now, the Nuggets having the experience against this LA team, they know how to beat them. And one of the ways to beat them is to not get in a three-point contest with them and take the point, take take the ball in the paint. Because what? When you take the ball in the paint, it's very unlikely for the ball to be to be missed, let's say it like that, for it to be rejected. <laughs> when you take it closer to the basket, it's easier for the ball to not be rejected. So that's another reason the Nuggets won this series was by simply taking it in the paint. Now, the key winning players of this, again, I spoke about him before, Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. really coming into his own, bro. I'm really becoming a fan of Michael Porter Jr., bro. It took him a while with the back injuries, with the injuries and all that. But last year, on top of this year and in the postseason, he's been balling, bro. 20-point games. He's passing the ball. He's decisive about what he wants to do. I'm, I'm excited about it. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, bro. Now, I like Aaron Gordon as a dunker of all, all that. Of course, he's a spectacular dunker. But who would have thought he would have become the player he is now with that trade, bro? He That trade made him a champion, and it made him completely better. A spark plug 
power forward. He could guard your team's best player, your best big, or your best wing. And, again, he's a spark plug. So he can go off for of, uh, 10, 15, maybe a 20 in a game. And I think he did in one of these games for 20, I think. But he, he balled in this series for sure. Then Jokic, of course, he's going to do his thing. He's going to turn up, drop triple doubles, 25, 20 games. You already know what he's going to do, 25, 20, 20 games, triple, 20, 20 triple doubles. You know what I'm saying? You know what Jokic is going to do. We expect that of him. I really want to give this series – to the series MVP to Jamal Murray, bro. Jamal Murray, what he did in game two with that game winner, then with the injury, he, 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 he's also, he doesn't get credit for being one of the best combination passer scores in the league either. That, and, and that's why I want to give it to him because, again, he knows when to step up and, like he did in game two and game five, or he knows when to take a back seat in the previous games where he didn't score as much. And the fact that he's never been an all-star, the fact that Jamal Murray's never been an all-star is egregious, is egregious to the highest power. Um, we, could, we, could, we, could speak about, we could speak about the decline of superstar and how he keeps hogging up starting positions on the all-star team, not to mention... The fact that his teams haven't been good enough to stay in the playoffs any amount of time. Why is he? In, why is he in the? All, why hasn't he been an All Star yet? Makes no sense. Now, what's next for Denver? What's next for Denver? They face this uh, Minnesota Timberwolves in the second round. And what will be a true battle of the big men. True battle of the big man. This ain't Embiid and Jokic. This ain't finesse. This is going to be physicality and some finesse. Because you got Carl Anthony Towns too. Now, as far as the Lakers, man. As far as the Lakers. They're going to be trash for a while, man. I've been talking about this for a while. I don't know where LeBron James is going to go. But we know... His formula, bro. We know he can't stay longer than four years on the franchise. He did it. He did it the way he stayed with this team. LeBron James has stayed with this team, with the LA Lakers, just as long as he, just not not just as long, but uh, the second longest to his tenure, his first tenure on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And with that, again, I've been talking about it before. I want to say this. The Lakers going to be way worse than any team that LeBron James has left before because they have, if you've paid attention to all the transactions that have been made, the Lakers have no draft capital at all. No draft capital. And Considering that they have Anthony Davis on the team, we don't know if LeBron's staying or not. They're going to be in the middle of the road if, presuming that AD stays, they're going to be in the middle of the road. So, they're going to be, if AD stays, they're going to be trashed for a long time because they're going to be in the middle of the road. They're not going to be a lottery team to get a high draft pick. So, if the Lakers, if you are LA fan and you want your team to be to be on the ups in the playoffs after LeBron leave, you better hope AD leave too, so they can become a lottery team to get some draft picks because that's the only way that's happening. LeBron has gutted this team. LeBron has hijacked this team, but we're gonna get into that in a later video. But again, this is about the Nuggets. I'm going to congratulate them, man. They hooped. They dissected and disposed of them Lakers, man. And now we can get straight to straight ball. We can get to the real journalists. We can get to the real hoop heads who really paying attention to the game because the fan voice is falling off. Uh, Philly about to be out of here. Philly about to be out of here. The Lakers is out of here. The Bucks about to be out of here. Unfortunately, the Knicks are still here. <laughs> the Clippers, we don't know. The Dallas, we don't know.
But we still got young guys. We still got the top guys. We got real hoops. That's something to look forward to. But let me know, let me know what y'all think about what y'all expect about this first confirmed series in the second round, the T-Wolves versus the Nuggets. But first, hit that like button, comment at the beginning, middle, end of the video, share for us to see, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. What a postseason.